Hey guys, Valif Vai, welcome to another great video and we're back to go deep down the sinkhole. Guys, this is gonna be a very sweet one. The weekend, the Canadian singer. I mean the guy who had a lead role at this year's Super Bowl halftime show, which was a good reward by the elite for his hard work in brainwashing the masses. The weekend has something, something that I don't know. Anyways, let's go into it real quick. This video is gonna be short and sweet, but before we dive into it, make sure you hit the like button because, man, like if you don't, I don't think the other people can watch it because this channel has been shadow banned every single day. It's been shadow banned, so please hit the like button so that the rest can also view the video. Um, subscribe if you're new, make sure you share this video, and leave your thoughts in the comment section when you're done. So here's something I got to know last week. If you're smarter than a robot, you will realize that Starboy, I mean the weekend, he has been switching personas. Last time he completely switched his persona. You know what you guys call reinvent, like he reinvented himself. Just like Madonna. When he came into the game, he had dreadlocks, you know, he was all cool, but now looking nice and smart but now he got his hair shaved and he has changed his style of singing he went from you know modern music to this former style i don't i don't know the word in english but some kind of like stevie wonder if you know what i mean classical music even bruno mass is doing the same stuff you know they're taking us back to the past but the whole stuff is shady so i was skimming through his latest album called aftermad i got pretty impressed with the way he blew up and i also got impressed with his performance at the super bowl halftime show even though we saw robots indicating a new age i mean a new world which will be ruled by transhumans just showing us the aftermath of the whole coronavirus you know what i mean the weekend we already know he sold his soul I made a video on that, I guess last year or two, exposing every single stuff. So I wasn't expecting anything much different. So in this album called Aftermath, I started having chills and goosebumps, man. I started picking up stuff that I wasn't expecting. You know, like a thousand thoughts sank within my brain. And I was like, what Aftermath? Like Aftermath of selling your soul or what? Or Aftermath of the end of the world? I don't really get it. So I took only two videos and went deep down the sinkhole. The first video is the aftermath, which is like the intro video of the whole album. And then I took this other video called Heartless and try like mesh them together and started connecting the dots. Note guys, I have only watched two of the whole album. I mean two videos in the whole album. I don't think I have time to waste on these things because I don't want to waste my time on worldly things. But in the aftermath video, we see blood running down his face for no good reason. I mean, like, blood is just flowing from his body, from his face, you know, like he was beaten. But the whole, like, the whole stuff doesn't look like he was beaten. It looks like he's allowing blood to flow down from his face. And I've told you guys that. It's all about MK Ultra mind control. You know, in my last video, I, I spoke about MK Ultra reference in music, where we see blood flowing from their faces or from their noses. You know, the more these guys get controlled, the more you get controlled by the elite, the more your brain gets, how do you call it, overloaded. Yeah. yeah you got some overload and you start bleeding like crazy. You know, if your head is aching, if you're having like frequencies in your brain and, and, and all this stuff, like, all those frequencies can can cause bleeding in your nose and, and all this stuff so i think he's just trying to like relate what the mk ultra mind control stuff is about if you know what i mean forget about a crap story the weekend is trying to mimic in this album just trust the truth by the way there's no peace for those who worship satan it's only pain and suffering despite the fame despite having fame and money you know the weekend is so full of it from my own point of view you see it's always like crying you know like depressed and and if you guys can understand what i mean 
and there's this part which is quite shady because i don't put it in the real life but if you can understand what i say you'll get it there's this part in the video where he's been abducted by an alien ship i mean the light if you can know where that light comes from definitely you know what i mean i know i've had i've had abduction dreams about like aliens and all this stuff stuff that i don't even believe in i think god is trying to like show me something about this alien stuff he got abducted by an alien ship and when he came back he was possessed by this satanic reptilian spirit i mean they were pulling him around and if you guys know what i mean i mean like we all know that reptilians exist i mean if you go deep down the rabbit hole and you spend your time doing research not just assuming stuff that you don't know i mean if you spend your time doing quality research you will know that reptilians existed before and they are still existing right now they are the hybrids are still living on this earth right now and they got all these shady satanic eyes if you know what i mean and in this video we see how when he got possessed by this reptilian stuff this reptilian satanic spirit we see how at the end of this video this video he he fed i, I guess like he fed or he killed these two guys the male and the female which he was with in the elevator so the elites are all reptilians they are the they are the descendants of satan satan has his bloodline on earth that's something that everybody have to know the whole illuminati stuff the, in fact the illuminati is under the the 13 bloodlines of the illuminati yes we know that people control this world the Rothschilds and all these guys are all bloodlines from satan i mean like they control everything because satan is just a spirit okay but he needs humans he needs people that are breathing because according to god's law you cannot function in this world without a body so they have to be they have to peep they have to look for people that they can control so kind of like he reincarnated his spirit in somebody then kind of like made love to a woman and from there he had his own children because for real he has his own children living on this earth and they're waiting for they're waiting for the end times where uh, where the where the spirit of the of the antichrist will reincarnate in the in the antichrist because the antichrist already exists the antichrist is living on earth but now he's waiting for the spirit to reincarnate in his body before he can be able to control the world and you know do that stuff in revelations now in the other video which is called heartless you know he's still dressed in the same outfit still looking the same but not with the blood and, and all this stuff but in this video we see him licking a toad and we know that toads look exactly like reptilians if you know what i mean i mean they look all the same lizards toads frogs if you know what i mean they all they all have this reptilian look and after he leaks the toad he became possessed by this reptilian spirit and what happens next his eyes changes these are the eyes of reptilians we even see him using the mocking tongue symbolism and the mocking tongue symbolism is in the bible if you if if, if you're reading the bible carefully you will see the mocking tongue in the bible these things are like they are not hidden okay they are in the bible you know even in the bible in the book of revelations it speaks about demons how demons are like frog like you know pale skin reptilian eyes sunken like sunken and having this pale reptilian skin these things are in the bible in the book of revelations and people who have gone to hell i mean people that god showed them hell they came back and told the same story so it's not like it's it's, it's healing or anywhere is that people don't want to believe okay the truth is that reptilians are real i don't care if you believe me or not i don't really care if you believe believe whatever you want to believe okay because someday we're all, we all gonna die and we will still not know the truth so it's not like it's hidden from anybody the truth is that most people claim to know a lot but all they know in their life is just their two friends their their families their workmates or their schoolmates but they claim they know a lot they don't even know how to speak another language but they claim they, they know a lot about the world which is crazy i mean it's just it's just crap the weekend is putting the truth in plain sight and we have to open our minds i mean open your minds beyond the scope of this matrix then you'll be able to know things that things that are hidden from people okay the elites have tried all means by hiding the truth in plain sight 
but that's the only way you can hide the truth by putting it in plain sight because people are not going to believe in it and i guess last time when i spoke about the reptilian stuff people were like ah leave that reptilian stuff it's not in the bible there's no stuff like reptilian in the bible this is what i believe in man i don't really care what you believe in and don't say that the reptilian stuff is not in the bible because the reptilian stuff is still in the bible you know satan came in the form of a snake what is a snake a snake is a reptile i mean in the book of genesis and even in the book of revelation satan still came in the form of a dragon what is a dragon a dragon is still a reptile man like what else do you guys want to believe in because it seems like people don't it seems like people don't even read the bible with the holy spirit like they read the bible with their own minds and they claim oh i i don't believe anything if it's not in the bible believe whatever you want to believe in it's your choice because the bible itself is about jesus christ it's not about it's not about demons and all this stuff there are other books about that we have a book of enoch which is about the fallen angels we have some other books but they were all destroyed and burned but the truth is that repentance exists aliens exist and all these things they exist they died before i mean they were, they were living in, in the past but now we are towards the end of the world so satan is bringing back their spirits he's reincarnating their spirits on earth that's why you're seeing all these ufos you know all these alien ship moving around people are capturing stuff from all over the world and putting it's a theme or putting it's a joke they are preparing for the end of the world man that's why they're like they are, they're parading in the sky Many you guys are sleepwalking. Many people are sleepwalking. This thing is crazy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and <laughs> make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section. Bye.